Can you please introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Connor James. I'm 18 years of age, and this is my story on bike theft. Can you explain what happened on the 4th of May 2019? Um, so really, it was just we finished playing football uh, in the day. Uh, so after we'd done that, we decided to go to town uh, just to grab some food, you know. Um, but then while we were in there, you know, it started to like hail it down with rain. Um, so we were like, oh, our bikes are out. Let's just go get our bikes and we'll go put them somewhere else under cover or something. Um, as we were going towards um, our bikes, we were just waiting under like some shelter uh, out, out of the rain. Um, and we just saw uh, like three lads sort of stand near us, almost sort of like out of the rain themselves. Um, so we kind of thought, oh, they're just you know, standing on the side of the rain, whatever, didn't think nothing of it, until they decided to sort of walk towards our bikes in a very suspicious way. Um, by then, you can kind of see them just literally with some wire cutters or whatever, just go up to the bikes, one snip, <laughs> you know, and... Um, but by then I just sort of, I didn't really think of, you know, should I stand here, should I wait, should I, what should I do? So I instantly just ran at them. <laughs> and, um, but yeah, it didn't really go too well. Um, sort of just remember being thrown by my bag, you know, somebody grabbed my bag, threw me, um, and then just, I remember just being on the ground, just being kicked <laughs> and punched, which was kind of fun, and hit with wire cutters. Yeah, eventful. What did they look like? Um, <clears throat> I don't think they were much older, um, but they definitely, you know, were old, around our age. And if anything, they um, were just hooded. You know, couldn't see their faces whatsoever. You know, just black figures in the rain. You know what I mean? It was proper dramatic in that way. Was there any point while you were getting attacked where you thought to yourself you could die? Yeah, of course. It, it's sort of the first thing you kind of think is, um, you know, you get kicked in the wrong place and it could all just, you know, lights out. You know, it's just a bit, you sort of just have to protect yourself in that moment. You sort of don't think of anything else. You don't really care about the bike anymore. You, don't, you kind of think just to sort of get out of the situation as best you can, really. So that's what I did. How has it affected you mentally in everyday life? Massively. Um, since then, I don't think I've st stood outside the house without thinking of that situation or a similar situation happening again. Um, so really it was just a matter of me now going out and thinking, planning my route to go, sort of like I will plan, if I have to go to town, I'll plan which way to go to town, which is the quickest way for me to go in and out. Um, you know, when I get into town, sort of in and around the town, I will then take my AirPods out, no music on, just try to, so I can hear everything around me. Um, I don't like going out in the dark anymore. Just, it's not even a fear of that happening again, it's, but it's just affected me. I don't really, when I think back at it, it doesn't really scare me, but it's just, I just don't want anything like that to ever happen again to me, so, or just to anyone really.